Nelvis Kekema, Azapo president. Azapo believes if no quick and drastic intervention is done, South Africa is going down the cliff of a failed state. President Ramaphosa has a responsibility tonight to take the nation into confidence about his concrete plans to correct the 29 wasted years. He has to do that tonight at his State of the Nation address. The country is in the dark through failures of the ruling party. All indications are that the energy crisis is a deliberate plan to cash in out of the man-made crisis and cripple ESCOM to justify the plot to privatize the delivery of electricity. Industries have closed down, resulting in sharp increase in, um, in unemployment and poverty. Azapo is suspicious of the ANC's plan to deliberately create a crisis and declare the crisis as a national state of disaster to justify throwing billions of rands at the deliberately created problem. Billions of rands were thrown at the COVID-19 pandemic and the people's money ended up in the private pockets of uh, the ruling political elites. Azapo demands to know how will the president deal with the country's income and wealth gap? Somebody please tell the nation how does Ramaphosa feel about him earning 4 million rand per annum when the national minimum wage is about 6,000 rand per annum. Azapo warns President Ramaphosa that these problems will not be solved through summits, conferences, and commissions of inquiry. The chronically underperforming economy cannot be solved through conferences. Never. That will never happen. The president and the ruling party must govern decisively so. They have the power. They have been given the power. The people have entrusted the power in their hands through the vote that the people have conducted. The ruling party must therefore stop governing through white consultants. If they find it difficult to govern, if they have no idea how to go about governing and making you know, the liberation of the people a reality, then they must step aside. Then they must step down. Then they must resign and let the people who've got the will and the ideas to govern do so.